Also have an expired sodium capsule. Um, that one is on its way out. It's discharging. It's not in healthy state that lamp. Just let it warm up. Not too serious at the moment. The other one is glowing purple here. Just got a new test capsule box, which is quite handy to have. So that's going to be my explosion test cell, which I'm going to also upgrade with some uh, um, cooling or ventilation option. So I've got 90 microfarad here, going to charge it up to 10 kV DC, and then we'll see what happens. The inner two lamps are shorted out because otherwise the MOT won't strike. The current is about 2.5 ampere on the primary, which is 250 milliamps on the secondary. As you see, this lamp is uneven, it flickers quite a lot. So, we're going to do a different test with this one. Charge is ready, lamps are red. That's my 200 watt ballast and a single direct rectifier consisting of 14 1 in. Uh, 5408 diodes. Rolling. Here. Oh shit, something blew out. It was not the lamp. Interesting. Oh, it's capsuled in the lamp. Oh, we have another crack at that. Capsule exploded in the capsule from the lamp. That's quite interesting. You can give it another shot, the leads are still there, yeah, charging up. <clears throat> that must be the sodium, that means the borelic or pyrex glass has contained the whole explosion. See if we can get a second flash out of this device. Lamps are on. Three, two, one. No, that's it. Clips the energy in the lamp. That's bloody brilliant. Okay, de energize. Oh, what's that? Is it blowing in there? Sodium is burning. Looks like it's blowing there somehow. That's it, of course. Analysis. Treat everything as live, don't touch anything. That is quite interesting. Something is going on there. Don't know what it is. Discharge before touch, safety first. A little bit of charge left there. The lamp is not warm. Oh wow! The capsule inside has exploded. All the pieces are still contained inside the lamp. Look at this was a Philips uh, 100 watt uh, device. Tells you the quality of the outer casing. I know sodium reacts with water, but I don't. Uh, can be bothered with it today. Well, sodium does react with water, so I'll just carefully open the, the device and let's see uh, what happens. Disappointing. Obviously, we had taken all the power out of it already when we blew it up. It probably burnt all the sodium. Well, where's the try? Thanks for watching.